Hello dear friends, in this video tutorial I will show you how to create this uh, funny card animation with question marks. Uh, as you can see all these marks are animated and I will show you how to create uh, easy and quick this simple animation. Uh, of course, you can use it for your email campaign uh, or some sales uh, and so forth. Okay, let's start. Uh, first, I delete it. I have my four images uh, with question marks. First of all, as you know, uh, before add the animation, we need to convert our uh, layers into smart object. Let's do it. Okay. After all, we need to select what uh, exactly animation I want to see. In this case. As you can see on my preview image, I want to use scale animation with uh, bounce effect and out is an option. And for this animation, I want to use this point. Uh, it's called side two. I want to select side two and my animation will be linked. Uh, in this point, okay, uh, select my frame duration, let's try uh, 20 frames duration uh, and let's create our intro animation. Cool, uh, it's very quick app and let's create outro at the same point side two select your object and click outro it's my end animation cool uh, for this layer i want to create my fade in effect fade in and fade out for this let's uh, set keyframe of the opacity Let's add another keyframe. Uh, in zero frame, let's uh, set opacity uh, to zero and the same in the end of my animation two. Let's see. Cool. Now we uh, need to repeat all these steps for other layers. Let's check. Intro. Select another layer. Intro. Cool. Intro. Cool. And uh, set our slider. And let's create for these three layers. And of the animation also let's set our fade in and fade out effect And let's set opacity from 100 to 0 and all the same at the end of our animation. Okay, we created a four animated question marks and now we need to place into our uh, composition correctly. But before, as you know, uh, we need to create some pre-composition uh, like as in Adobe After Effects. For this, just create uh, four 
layers with any background fill just duplicate it uh, turn off uh, these layers we need uh, that Photoshop know uh, all boundaries of our composition because if you want to uh, convert into smart object again as you can see it's some bugs uh, and I didn't see my animation uh, and for this I want to select my background layer and again convert into smart object and I have my pre-composition and I can transform it with the same animation. Let's do it for all animation. Just convert to smart object. Convert to smart object. Cool, and let's place our animation into different points on my image. Uh, and for uh, more beauty animation let's uh, set a little bit start of our animation let's check our whole animation cool it's very easy to use and and apply keyframes to any object, any con any uh, smart object, and create animation. Another cool stuff for this uh, animation, for example, I want to replace my question mark, for example, uh, to another mark, like this. Just select your image into your root of this animation let's save it save and as I can see I have explanation mark with all the same animated keyframes it's very cool stuff and you can create some animated mockups for your designs. Thanks for watching. I hope this video tutorial will be very helpful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I will be glad to help you. Thanks for watching and enjoy.